In this section, we will talk about functional anatomy of kidney. Kidney is a compound tubular gland covered by a connective tissue capsule. There is a depression on the medial border of kidney called hilum, through which renal artery, renal veins, nerves, and ureter pass. Components of kidney are arranged in three layers. First is outer cortex. Second is the inner medulla. Third is renal sinus. Let's discuss them. Outer cortex is dark and granular in appearance. It contains renal corpuscles and convoluted tubules. At intervals, cortical tissue penetrates medulla in the form of columns, which are called renal columns or columns of Bertini. This will be explained in detail later in this video. Then there is inner medulla. Medulla contains tubular and vascular structures arranged in parallel radial lines. Medullary mass is divided into 8 to 18 medullary or Malpighian pyramids. Broad base of each pyramid is in contact with cortex and the apex projects into minor calyx. This is ureter. This is renal pelvis. This is major calluses. And this is renal artery. And this is renal vein. This is renal sinus. Now let's discuss the tubular structures of kidney. Kidney is made up of closely arranged tubular structures called uriniferous tubules. Blood vessels and interstitial connective tissues are interposed between these tubules. Uriniferous tubules include terminal or secretary tubules called nephrons, which are concerned with formation of urine, collecting ducts or tubules, which are concerned with transport of urine from nephrons to pelvis of ureter. Collecting ducts unite to form ducts of Bellini, which open into minor calluses through papilla. This was all about functional anatomy of kidney. In our next section, we will talk about the nephron.